It said you felt you were feeling your son. The one who loves video games, so you sought out a STEM school that would into embrace his interest in gaming. Well, he sounds a lot like me because uh, I hated school. There was nothing about it that I liked. But I loved college. I had a life. And my roommate was a means list student, and I was determined to keep up with her. So I excelled in college. So you, you homeschooled your son, and you used the word unschooling. What does that mean? Unschooling means that we learn, uh, there's, we don't have tests, we don't have quizzes, there's no homework. Um, we basically learn as his interest presents. So he learns science because he has a question about something. Why is the moon out in its daytime? Well, let's look it up. So we might watch a video on that and then maybe talk about it and then he has science. So it's, it's, a, it's unschooling because it's not in the traditional sense. We don't, I, don't, I don't have any whiteboards in there. I'm not writing on a chalkboard. He doesn't have any homework, there's no test. But he's absolutely learning. Um, I know that because he still has, because I live in America, I still have to be connected to a homeschool base. Um, and I still have to have a homeschool teacher who I report to. Um, I don't have a curriculum. My homeschool gives me uh, funds. I have a set amount of funds per semester that I get to use however I desire as long as it's educational. Mm -hmm. So he took um, skateboard lessons. Lessons. Um, you can do soccer. You can, uh, we bought like little kits, like little science kits, Kiwi kits, and you can build things, you can create however you want, right? So, or you can buy a curriculum and people do it differently. Um, I report to the homeschool person and we do tests because we live in the state of California, you connect to a homeschool base and then you test with the state to prove that you're teaching your kid. I never care about that kind of thing, um, but I love my homeschool and I love my homeschool teacher. They get points and credits and whatever. It has nothing to do with what your kid learns. They don't care. It's all about the money they get from the state based on the tests that they took. It has nothing to do, just so you know, it has nothing to do with your kids learning or growth. So I do those tests for my teacher because I like her and she gets points. I'm like, you want the points? All right, girl, we'll take the test. <laughs> and I instruct my kids to go in there and do whatever they want to because it doesn't, it doesn't change anything. They don't pass or fail. It doesn't happen. Um, and he goes in, takes the test, just kind of, he says, played it like a video game. And he now is in sixth grade, so he tests math 10th grade. Um, because we learn, if he's playing Fortnite on his video game, they play like squads and uh, duos. If I can look on this, I can walk in there and I can see that there's 48 people left in the game and I can say, how many squads are left? This is division. You know, how many teams do you have to take down? This is math all day long, so his math skills we use to, I use that through his video game. So he's learning, but he learns naturally. So that's what unschooling is. It's learning naturally, without pressure, one, and then no test, and you know, I'm not, other than that one test a year that, that we do for the school. Yep, my sister home schooled her children, uh, but also because they live a huge farm in Canada and my gosh it's just I mean, at, at one time I was like can you be my mother <laughs> I, I want to be your child because the kind of freedom that her children had I, I, I was I was jealous. Jealous is a good word. Envious is not good. But I, I, I was jealous. I mean, 
you know, when she'd tell her kids, go out in the garden and bring some carrots and get some broccoli. And, uh, okay. But anyway, you tell her, I'm oh, sorry, I have to tell my little personal story to, to relate to how I feel about the way you do things. Sorry. 